Vajrasravasa belongs to Gautama Gotra. That's what it says. That's how he got the Gautama referred. Okay. Gautama Gotra. I see. Okay. And where does that come from? No, in my book, uh, which is Swami, Holayana Supra Swami has mentioned in a footnote. Ah, okay. Gautama, Gautama Gotra. Gautama. Hmm. Okay. It means uh, it means what you know. Go means Veda. Vedena tamaha is ignorance. Vedena tamasaha dvamsat go tamaha. Okay, this is what uh, Vachaspatyam says. One whose ignorance <laughs> is removed by the Vedas, that person is called as Gotama. Beautiful. That's how it works. Please, please repeat it, Jai Kumarji. One whose? One whose ignorance is removed by the Vedas, by the study of the Vedas, obviously. That Veda, Go means Veda, Vani, Veda, Saraswati. And Thank you. That person is called Gautama. Gautama. Gautama Syapatyam Gautama. So Gautama Gotrat Udbhavaha Gautama. One who is a product of the Gautama, Gautama Gotra is a Gautama. Gautama also could be the name of the Gotra, I don't know. Gautama Gotra, I think they say. Yeah. We belong to Gautama Gotra. Yeah, Gautama Gotra. Gautama, Gautama Buddha is contraindicated. No, no, no. There no relation with that Gautama Buddha. No relation, but name and uh, Buddha. Because... <laughs> ah, okay. Good. So, so how was it today? It was uh, some difficulty we had, but overall, was it all right? Yeah. Some two times it froze your uh, oh. frame, but otherwise it's okay, like overall. Otherwise, it's okay. But now, Satish Ji is an experienced person. He's already studied all this Bhashyam. He has footnotes and footnotes of footnotes and all is written. So, I can't take his feedback. Now, any other feedback? Somebody who's new to this, I want some feedback. Absolutely new. Never studied Bhashyam before. It was excellent, Guruji. Excellent. Because in different uh, way, different uh, levels, everyone doesn't explain that way. Okay. Yeah, because Ramuji has, has studied the Bhashyam of uh, others and... Uh, others, Swami, Parsadi, Paramarthananda Sundi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Any other feedback from somebody who is new to this? I want to see them. I mean, be, be, be honest, be frank, because we need to improve the communication. You know, you know if half the people are getting confused. Jai Kumarji, yeah. I am fairly new. First, uh, I said, uh, first class or second class, I said it is uh, dry. Now, uh, after uh, listening, I almost gave up. But I, I said today, I'm going to listen. And then I uh, listened. And then also, I heard other speakers, uh, Bhashyam also. With that, uh, I went through this before I came here. After going through, I think I felt uh, more comfortable. Your analysis uh, makes a lot of sense. It is difficult. I don't know Sanskrit at all, but the numbering is uh, very nice. Overall, uh, I'm getting there. Hopefully, I can continue. I wish I want to continue. Sure, sure. Yeah, if you don't know Sanskrit, then uh, you are you are having to digest a lot. And uh, some words you won't be able to digest because verb, suppose, suppose I say verb, babita and syat and all these words you may not have heard. Whereas all other Sanskrit students will, for them it's not a barrier at all. They have moved on from that. So yeah, it can be can be tough if you don't know Sanskrit. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. And it's... it's uh, Thank you, Jai Kumarji. Yeah. Uh, put up with us. Thank you. <laughs> Now, I don't have to put up with you. I have to put up with people like Ramuji, who is, uh, everybody is finished. Uh, Ramuji has already done the Bhashyam so many times, and now he's saying, can, can you repeat that? 
can you repeat that and no, no, not that <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> I, i think next time onwards i'm not going to honor your request ramuji you are doing something else you want to type it all at the same time multitasking and all that so no, no, no. you you write down with this some things and so can you repeat it now i'm wondering how come ramuji who tra transliterated all these things written documents after documents and so many gigabytes of documents not that it. not that just whether i heard properly and all that that's only thing Okay. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> now I got it. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Ah, uh, Hari ji, go ahead. Yeah, I am also totally new to Sanskrit, mm -hmm. but uh, even then, though uh, I may not be understanding fully, but this helps me immensely when I study the. commentary of like uh, swami chinmayananda or patsarthi the upanishad commentary that give, this gives a solid background that i i i am able to get the overall picture of it when when you are trying to explain to us the bashim so uh, word by word if you ask me to repeat i may find it difficult but i am getting an overall idea Mm -hmm. and that gives me uh, that, that strengthen my understanding power when i read it again yeah so yeah. i am i am sure i will continue i am certain there is no question about it okay okay so it 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 it, it strengthen my uh, ability to understand and appreciate okay thank you hari ji thank you thank you we have exposed her to shastram so that helps um, yeah vijay ji what about vijay is studying sanskrit and uh, maybe bashim is new for him. let's see what he says yeah yeah bashim is new um, for me also it was initially a little overwhelming too many things uh, coming but i decided i am not going to be worried about all that i don't get but whatever i am getting that's good enough so and why and all i am numbering but i am not too much focused on it i want to the the way uh, the whole story i know but now the way it's being explained in detail how shankara um, charya is thinking and writing that's interesting so i'm more interested in listening to that rather than trying to be jumbling up the words and all that's okay that may be the next next time when i go through it for now that detailing of the whole story is quite interesting so um, yeah it, i felt it was little overwhelming when i started i, I was wondering is this really required at this stage but then uh, for this detailing of the story and how shankaracharya is thinking is something very interesting i am finding it quite interesting to uh, know the thought process of shankaracharya correct correct i i wanted to add one more it is not only understanding what is written but it helps to to strengthen the on to 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 put it in a proper structure the very thinking process mm -hmm. and that is the most the biggest advantage that i am getting out of uh, 60% 70% of understanding this bashim mm -hmm. the thought process the how we have to think <clears throat> which i feel is very very important it doesn't allow me to 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 wander uh, may uh, it 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 teaches me to focus right so that is once we start studying bhashyam we will see that and that's what will happen yeah because shankaracharya is going to point areas that we may not know about yeah so to 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 hit the target you know yeah 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 and uh, thank you guruji it's uh, the way you are explaining the whole uh, vivid description of the whole scene is coming in our head when we are listening to it so that's very interesting so i am not too much worried about the sanskrit uh, and uh, though it's good uh, i'm learning it but more than that for me the vivid description of the whole episode the way you should uh, uh, look at situations is improving clarity is coming much more yeah <clears throat> yeah manjula guruji yeah yeah premanji go ahead Yeah, Guruji, what I find very useful for my learning 
is that first of all you make us pronounce the words and divide the words where they should be so that actually uh, gives us a better idea of how to construct uh, what is already written there second you do the bhashyam uh, first you give the meaning of the mantram that we have done and then we have the bhashyam and then at the end you do the anvaya so the anvaya is the most difficult because we haven't uh, we don't have that sanskrit background but what it does is in a systematic um, the way you first understand what is written you interpret in your own mind and then you understand how it should be constructed and read so that you get the gist of the story and then shankara's bhashyam on it so by the end of the class i mean when i started i was like a chicken with its head cut it was just all over the place i had no clue at all but in the past 3 4 classes i realized there is uh, you have a system by which you work and now I, that i have understood the system i'm able to find uh, things and um, understand and of course it needs homework so i go over what you say and so in my process yes it's a uh, learning uh, you give you're giving us skills which we didn't have before to construct to rephrase to move words and then make a story out of it so that's a valuable skill that you're teaching us and it's interesting it's a struggle no no doubt yeah yeah so the style is new for all of us those who are studying bhashyam for the first time okay. and uh, and uh, the precision with which uh, bhashikara argues that also is new and refreshing and uh, yeah sandhi splitting is something we do periodically and so that helps uh, grasp the that aspect of the language mm-hmm. and uh, and also one has to review acharya padam adatte from this class only a quarter you will understand padam shishya swamedaya padam sva brahmachari bhya so once effort quarter so class quarter once effort quarter then this this miraj is conducting a class from there you get quarter then padam kalakramena cha so in time the remaining it will gel the gel so you don't have to be upset or sad or disappointed yeah. that i don't follow everything or i didn't read this one word or that word this word uh, yeah they don't get lost in that Yeah, that's so even we, even we have the same problem, and so we also have to look up and all these things. So this reorganization of words is not easy at all. That too, Shankaracharya. In fact, in fact, I don't think they use commas and full stops. Our Acharyas they don't need all these things. We are the people who need commas, semicolons, hyphen, full stop, all these things for us, <laughs> because otherwise our mind just blanks out after some time. After ten words, continuing means what? You know, it's like this good strain in India. we used to count as kids and then 1 2 3 4 5 10 20 30 40 50 and amazing it keeps on going this i don't know how this long trains how they manage and then finally another engine is pushed two engines are pushing this train so like that the shankaracharya sentences are you can see how big they are and then i am supposed to the teach see understanding is first step and then i am we are supposed to teach it also and in this online system how to teach this it's i i, I find it a, it's a challenge for me even though i have understood it completely okay crystal clear for me still i i am struggling to communicate look at that i have to put all these numbers and this and that and um, half the time i am spending which number should put i should put where you know this is what i am <laughs> this is what i am thinking and so but i that's what i'm hoping this communication style is it working or not or should we change the style is working very 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 well okay yes definitely <laughs> there's no doubt about that okay good thank you thank you prema ji anjali ji hari om jai kumar ji your flow is beautiful us two classes i was wondering whether i can withstand all this but now it is very easily followed uh, jay kumar ji uh, thanks to the sanskrit classes because of
okay. the classes i can do the sandhis mm -hmm. because of the sanskrit it is like an ocean sanskrit but mm -hmm. uh, somehow i'm i'm finding it very hard to follow to do the manana but anvaya rachana and uh, splitting is is wonderful and your flow is very nice it's understood very well uh, jay kumar ji yeah some background sanskrit background will make it very enjoyable yeah. very much is required not some a lot is required <laughs> but sir first time i'm doing the upanishad i'm very happy to do the upanishad first time in my life with a profession i am juggling it but it's okay can follow thank you right so the sandhi splitting and all one can appreciate if you are already studying sanskrit and then immediately you know the, the lights goes off and then yeah 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 like that it should go so but if you don't know sanskrit then and if you can still stick around then you end up learning sanskrit you end up learning sandhi without your knowledge in a year you will figure out all these things and you will know the sandhi without even knowing their names that's what will happen that's how i learned sandhis that's how i learned sandhi i don't think i sat in a class and wrote all this i don't think so and uh, sandhi and all i learned just by listening to swami ji and uh, and watch looking at the text so very good very good any other thoughts we have i wanted uh, radhika ji are you still there yes yes very much there <laughs> yeah i want to introduce radhika to the class and uh, uh, can we see you radhika ji or how is it i have put on no i put on my video i need to you can't see me oh yeah now there you are yeah Now this zoom keeps changing sometimes it just collage uh -huh. just changes yes yes yeah uh, there you are yeah namaste namaste so, radhika ji is a classmate of mine from the ashram the time we spent in the ashram studying uh um this course long term course and uh, i joined the course much later the one and a half years after the course started and uh, by then all of them were there in the class and kato upanishad was already over by the time i went so i didn't even study from swamiji and so radhika ji was a student there and then she helped me catch up every day every day almost if you remember i don't know if you remember radhika ji every day after lunch when every when we are supposed to take a nap you know or at least i would like to take a 15 minute nap no we would go go to the class and then she will come and she is very alert and then i am coming <laughs> my notes and then sanskrit panini sutras she starts she is drawing all these graphs and said that and panini sutra is <laughs> i mean these days i can't forget those days and i don't remember that but i'm glad you brought it back i'm not sure so i those were very <laughs> for me and you brought brought me up because one and a half years of sanskrit i was not there and chika ji is talking and she is in some sutra somewhere sutra itself i don't know what sutra means and i'm sitting in front and then so but she helped me tide through that and uh, so let's introduce radhika ji she lives in coimbatore and radhika ji go ahead and introduce yourself <laughs> yes i think um, i i i live in coimbatore now and uh, i have been a long term student with swami ji in ashravidya gurukulam i currently teach sanskrit uh, to two batches of students um yeah i am an educator essentially i am an educator and a psychologist by profession but uh, that has no sense anymore in the sense after you uh, study um, uh, atma uh, atma vidya all that gets subsided nevertheless i um, uh, there is it's given a new meaning the study of atma vidya has given a new meaning to education and psychology and all of that so i am um, engaged with running a school in um, uh, in karnataka a uh, free residential school for uh, children who have uh, no facility to um, uh, you know to get um, meaningful education so it's not just another school but a school where we are hoping that we will be able to you know distinctly make a difference in the regular pedagogy so it i would i call it as a common sense education we are not doing anything extra you know fancy we don't want to call ourselves a fancy school or anything but a, a learning space where children can unfold who they are and you know 
and we act as facilitators so that's the that's what i do now thank you jay kumar ji yeah yeah <laughs> So I asked her, uh, why are you in this class? What is, uh, is it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And, yes. And uh, maybe she's planning to teach uh, Basham, or maybe she's already teaching and she wants to see a different perspective, etc. So. Yeah. So let me add that. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Yeah. Why? Do, why do I list, like to listen? Like all of you said right now, it's very overwhelming. You know. Uh, <clears throat> it's a training to our mind actually these kind of studies na so of so many years our mind has been anglicized and uh, there is a very um, you know a very linear approach that our mind takes and we want everything logical but if you look at shankaracharya's bhashyam or you look at all the upanishad studies they are all they they actually act, want your mind to be um comprehensive they want the mind to be like you know um, to come together if i have to put that that phrase so our mind is all over the place anyway the mind is all over the place and our anglicized system is further making it very narrow so this study actually helps us to bring the mind together so this is one of the i like to re listen and re listen when somebody <coughs> is doing a class secondly teaching bhashyam is not easy so um, it's you know so i thought sitting through jk's i call jay kumar ji jk <laughs> sitting through this um, class helps me also um, get clarity on how to communicate like he said today also communicating is very difficult uh, such kind of teaching so i thought i must sit through the whole thing and have the discipline of the mind thank you thank you radhika ji and she brings up a point which is that uh, linear think we got used to linear think you know in fact what, what, by doing the numbering you know what i'm doing i'm linearizing mm. agrajaria's non linear thinking <laughs> because this is what we are used to and especially because all of you are new yeah. and we have, uh, that's and so that in the next time we do or sometime later once you are used to it there will be less need for me to number all these things 1 2 5 7 6 and all we don't have to do that but initially we are doing it and as you get used to it we can just go along and sometimes we still have to reorganize etc and uh, so that's right that linear thinking start with the kriya padam and this and that there is a particular order which is needed for sanskrit but uh, yeah shankaracharya is just just having a nice time right mm. and here we are trying to say wait a minute wait a minute stop 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 thank you Alvin. thank you <coughs> prasad ji go ahead namaste ji kumar ji well uh, to start with yes it is difficult i should say because this is the first time even me going through the uh, bhashya uh the katopanishad actually i went through but not bashan itself um now uh well it is difficult but we i'm here to learn and in fact i cannot even uh say anything about your style of teaching because for me it is difficult so i have to understand first how i understand the whole thing but i'm sure that uh, uh i would uh, uh quickly uh Uh, get back uh, uh, to just to say a uh, uh, corollary an example when i went to uh, 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 the uh, the pasna course uh, so 10 years i thought sorry 10 days whether i can survive uh, survive there or not so uh, then i ended up going there for seven times later and i am continuing to go so it's not that uh, because the intention is to learn that's why i was there and as radhika ji said it is a practice so my mind got practice with there so i can go any number of times not a problem so i think uh, as far as sanskrit is concerned um, since i am also going to the sanskrit classes i think probably advantage being a telugu person uh, having uh, understood the sandhi samas is very quickly but uh, the the procedures like numbering and all that uh, i need to uh, get it for two reasons i am facing difficulty which i others also mentioned 
when you are saying uh, numbering, uh, why it is difficult for us? Because it's, one thing is uh, maybe speed, but I am not considering it as far as I am concerned. It is uh, possible that the numbers comes in a reverse fashion also. Like you go there and come back another number somewhere else, right? And that's one thing. And the big uh, word is split. So uh, when it is split, we have to search where is that split part. So uh, for example, today, Tava Pita. So Tava is in one other word, other word. So it's that difficulty. So that quickness probably will learn slowly. Uh, uh, Anvaya, uh, yes, like uh, Vijay ji said, I'm totally with him, whatever he said. Uh, I'm not looking at Anvaya right now. Uh, the problem with Anvaya is that uh, you're numbering, but you, we have to put in between. If, if you don't write, uh, what is happening is uh, somewhere we have to write in brackets or something, and uh, uh, we go back to the first line to bring something out from the Bashiya. So all these things, obviously, uh, it's, it's a difficulty for us unless we get uh, practice with that. Uh, I think probably it will take some time for us, but uh, for me, uh, I'm sure uh, I will quickly come back. So, uh, well, leaving is uh, no question about that because I'm here to learn. And uh, uh, so uh, I, I hope I will quickly uh, follow Anvaya as well as uh, the numbering part also. Thank you. Thank you, Pasaj. <clears throat> All right. So we'll conclude with that. Say it's right here. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalasahastaya Sarva Maya Vinashanaya Trailokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalasahastaya Sarva Maya Vinashanaya Trailokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalasahastaya Sarva Maya Vinashanaya Trailokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Guruji. Thank you. 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 Thank